The ground clamp that comes with most cheap welders is not up to snuff. A good welding clamp will cost you at least $25. Unfortunately, if you spend less than $25 for a ground clamp, you will find that it looks like it has copper components, but actually it is copper electroplated steel. Most of the ads hide this fact, but here's an ad that brags about it, like this is a feature, not a defect. Copper plating will wear right off, and then you have a steel connection. You can make an excellent clamp that uses solid copper for the welding circuit for just a dollar or two. This clamp will be even better than the expensive brass clamps because nothing conducts better than pure copper. I started off with this 2 inch pony clamp from Lowe's. It costs 99 cents. It is made out of heavy metal with a very, very strong grip. I had some 3 8 inch copper tubing in my jump box. If you don't have any lying around, you can buy a single foot from Ace Hardware. Flatten about 8 inches of the copper tubing with a hammer. Cut off the length you need. You want the length to be about 2 inches longer than the total length of the clamp. Hold the flattened tubing against the clamp and note the location of the hole nearest the tip of the clamp. Make sure you overlap the copper tubing over the tip of the clamp. Use a punch to mark the hole location on the flattened tubing. Drill a 1 4th inch hole through this spot. Remount the ragged edges if you want. Note that the flattened 3 8 inch tubing fits perfectly inside the inner channel of the pony clamp. If you want a smaller clamp, Pony also makes a very strong 1 inch clamp, but you will need a smaller width of copper, or use a grinder to reduce the diameter of the 3 8 after you flatten it. Use a hacksaw or a cutoff wheel to cut some teeth on one side of the clamp. Leave the other side without teeth. Use a file to sharpen the teeth. Hold the clamp open and lift the spring inside with a heavy screwdriver. Push up against your workbench and run the flattened piece of tubing inside the clamp until the hole you just drilled for the copper lines up with the hole near the front of the clamp. Use a 1 4th inch screw or bolt, a couple of washers, a lock washer and a nut to clamp the copper securely to the front hole. Be sure to leave a copper overhang at the front of the clamp. Cut off the back side of the copper tubing, but leave enough copper to drill the second hole through the rear hole in the clamp and through the copper tubing. Hammer down the tip of the copper tubing over one side of the tip of the clamp. Now bend the copper inside the clamp down to fit the curve of the clamp. Drill a 1 4th inch hole through the hole at the back of the clamp and through the copper tubing at the back of the clamp. Now disassemble the old clamp from the ground wire, but keep the mounting lug intact. Fit another 1 4th inch bolt or screw through the back hole. Use a big washer, a lock washer, and a nut to clamp it all together. Use pliers to bend the teeth you cut inward so they will grip the metal better. You now have a solid copper connection on a really strong clamp for a couple of dollars. Thanks for watching my video and please subscribe.